Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to do a quick video here today showing you that how I was able to use a scan gauge too to hook that up to my truck so I can get some certain readouts and everything for that. Now originally whenever I got this thing it wouldn't actually connect to my scan gauge but I found out that there's some certain things that you have to, certain settings you have to adapt and certain sensors called X gauges that you can put in to the scan gauge to get it to work. So I'm, as you can see, working with a scan gauge too and you can see I have a good amount of readouts here. I've got my boost pressure, my injection pressure regulator duty cycle, my injection control pressure, and then I have my engine operating temperature as well. But the thing to get this all set up was uh, you actually have to, of course, plug it into your data port. So we go ahead and unplug it and then plug it back in. All right, so you can see I'll get to the sort of a screen where it will be connecting. Now the issue is that the skin gauge too naturally has a more modern setup that it likes to try to run and it doesn't quite work with our older OBS 4s just right off the bat. So what I ended up having to do is I want to say we go to, no, let's see, we gotta to go to more. Okay, and we go to more, we can see there's different modes and things of that sort. We also have X gauges, commands, and of course it tells you other things you can do. But well, the main thing I want to do is in this mode screen, I want to, right now it's in the CANS F. That's the basically the OBD2 operating procedure that it's trying to go by, but these Fords of this era use PWM, so I'm going to change that. And so now we can see some selections. And I'm going to go all the way over to PWM, and that's what this Ford uses. I'm going to click Force, and what that'll do is it'll force it to connect onto it. Now you can see that it has connected. And then I can go ahead and go over to my gauges. Now, whenever you first get this thing, it's not going to have any sort of gauges or anything like that on it. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to need to add some with the X gauge. So what I'm going to do is go over to More. I'm going to go to More again. So we already did Mode, we changed PWM. But next we can go to these things called X gauges. And this is where it will allow us to basically put in specific commands, specific lines of information that will allow us to basically look at the readings from some of the sensors on the truck. Alright, so you see it has a bunch of positions here. It has, starts off with zero and you know, goes up all the way up to quite a big number of them. I haven't seen how high that can go yet. I haven't really experimented yet. But I've already programmed some in here. I've got the engine oil temperature. I've got the ICP boost. And this is cool because it actually tells you the readout from the, uh, I guess, your, your manifold pressure sensor, your map sensor. And this is it allows you to really see what pressure that is and you know ideally this thing should be accurate because your engine's using that for all of your fueling data tables and all that and so if it's not accurate then I figure you've got bigger problems but this could nonetheless be another way that you can maybe troubleshoot if you already have a boost gauge you can hook up your scan gauge too and you could see if your map sensor is operating like it should at the IPR and then Actually, I'm going to use, I'm actually going to show you guys the process of adding another gauge. So it's actually not too terribly difficult. But I've gone over to an open position where I don't have anything here yet. You go click the edit menu. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a bunch of these little screens. You've got a TXD, RXF, RXD, and MTH. And all that is really, and you'll of course input a name, that's just basically a series of four lines of code that you have to put in. Not really code, but... It's just basically a bunch of letters and numbers that you put in to tell scan gauge to do exactly what you're trying to read out. And the way that you find all that is actually not all that hard. All you gotta do is go to scangage.com. And guys, bear in mind, I'm not affiliated at all with scan gauge. I just found this scan gauge too, and I had it left over from the old Chevrolet truck I used to drive. And I originally didn't think I could get it to work on my OBS Ford. But after doing some more research, I figured out, and I thought I might as well share that information with y'all. So let me show you guys show you all the ScanGage website so you can see what all I'm looking at. Okay, to get things started, you're going to want to go to ScanGage.com and, of course, show you guys what I'm working with. I'm going to be working with the ScanGage 2. And certainly, if you have a different one, the process can be a little bit different. You'll scroll down the bottom of the screen ways to get to this X gauge, and you're going to want to select the region where you find X gauges for your vehicle. Select Ford Lincoln Mercury. And then I'm going to click on 7.3 Power Stroke Diesel. Certainly this would work if you have a different diesel engine, but I'm mostly focusing on the OBS 7.3, so that's why we're looking at the 7.3s. Now here you can see a typical example of what these X gauges are. You can see there's five lines of real command here, or just five lines of information you put in. You got the TXD, the RXF, RXD, MTH, and of course the name as well, which is just three-digit letters to help you give an idea as to what the sensor readout is.
Now this is all the information that you'll need to put into your gauge so that you can actually get this readout. Now let me go ahead and include a list of all these right on here real quick so you can get an idea of what all they are. Certainly you can see that the list of readouts is quite extensive for the 7.3 Power Stroke and I think you can basically monitor pretty much every sensor that there is here. Now another thing to note when you're setting up these gauges, especially regarding the boost gauge, is that you need to take into account the atmospheric pressure that you have in your area. And for that, I highly recommend that you guys go to the Scan Gauge website. There's a list of tables of information of exactly what code to put in in a situation that you might be at a higher or lower elevation. Alright, well guys, I went ahead and I inputted all this information. I was actually able to add in pretty much all of the X gauges that there are available for my 7.3 diesel. And I do believe that this should pretty much work for 96 and 97 models, though I don't know about the 94, 95 models since those weren't necessarily OBD2 compliant. But if you guys find something else interesting, I'd be happy to hear about it. So just leave a comment in the comment box about that. That would be super helpful. Now, of all of the X gauges that I found on the X gauge website, there were only two of them that I wasn't actually able to connect. And one of those was the MAT, which is Manifold Air Temperature which these things only really have one air temperature sensor and that is for basically intake and this might actually be for later model super duties and things of that sort but the other one I couldn't get to work was the transmission fluid temperature I have not gotten that to read at all TFT and like I said if you guys if you find anything out about, about this if you end up a being able to get that to work on your OBS 7.3 I would be more than happy to hear about it that way I can see if I can figure out what's wrong with my truck, see if I can get that to work, and hopefully my PCM isn't messed up, but you can see there's a whole lot of things that this thing can read out, and I think it's really cool. A lot of the standard scan gauge things don't necessarily work, but Fahrenheit, or degrees Fahrenheit intake temperature, I don't know if that's necessarily correct either, because it's reading 40 degrees below zero, I think, which, you know, that doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, fuel pressure, this doesn't have any gauges for that, so I wouldn't know. The main thing is I'm able to monitor a lot of parameters on here, which is really cool. Still able to get the R RPM and things of that sort, but of all the X gauges I have on here, I've got fuel pulse width, and that's basically telling me the period of time that the injector is commanded to be open, and that's measured in milliseconds. And you can see that varies based off the load in the engine and things of that sort. Dumps in more or less fuel. I have the MFD, which is the mass fuel desired. I have EBP, which is exhaust back pressure. And so maybe that'd be good to see if your exhaust back pressure vein is sticking or not. And this is volume fuel desired. And I want to say that's grams per stroke, though I don't, or milligrams per stroke. I don't know exactly for sure. Now, like I said, this is probably best to go onto the Scan Gauge website. They've got a lot more information on that. Now one of the coolest things that I found was actually this boost gauge that you can see right here. Now the thing is you do have to input basically what your current atmospheric pressure is and the way I ended up doing that was I started off with the, there, there's a set of I guess codes that you have to put in when you modify your actually X gauge code. You have to modify a couple of them so let me see if I can show you. So right now for my location let me see if I go to edit. So for the MTH part of the boost pressure gauge, these last four letters had to be slightly altered. The generic code is just has three X's right there because you have to put in different codes based off of basically the air pressure of the altitude that you're at. And the way I did that was I started off with standard sea level pressure, 14.7. And then I went back to my gauge readout itself and it was showing me like three pounds below what it needed to be. Actually, it was like four pounds. It's starting like negative 0.4 pounds of boost pressure, but I figured when the when my foot, foot's not on the accelerator, it shouldn't be reading any boost, and so I wanted to read about zero. So what I'm doing is I reduced my air pressure then from 14.7 to 14.3, so that I would have a more accurate gauge readout. So certainly this will work. Now I've seen people use it on OBS boards. I want to show you guys that you can too. You know, I originally thought this would only work on Super Duties, and I was really quite amazed to see if this actually still worked on my OBS board. Well, this would be great for troubleshooting and things of that sort, and hopefully you guys find this video useful. But in the meantime, really appreciate you guys watching. Hope you liked the video, and in the meantime, y'all have a good one. Thanks.